two new sensors, actually all four sensors, have been mounted. You've got the front left, front mid left, front right, and front mid right. And of course the only ones missing are the ones on the side, side left, side right. So right now we've got four out of the six mounted. You can see our wiring mess up top. Um, wrote a couple, wrote a modification to the program to uh, test, revise from last time. Now that these guys are, the four sensors, the infrared sensors are mounted in position, a stable position. Figured good time for a test. Give it a run again. See how it, uh, see how it handles. Knowing that the side sensors aren't in. So I'm going to give it a quick run down the hall as always. Let's see how it does. Picking up power. And there it goes. Hopefully it won't ding the wall. Slam into the wall like last time. Pretty disastrous. There we go. See what happens. Makes the turn, sort of. So we've got a pretty good distance on the sensors right now. If you could see how far it's it's picking up that wall. It's about two and a half feet away from where he's at. So it's it's probably a little too sensitive. Um, but in the home setting here where things are kind of tight and try not to ding my white walls, that's not necessarily a bad thing. So it's kind of a standoff right now. A little showdown with the wall. See if he can't figure something out. Get himself out of this jam. <laughs> Trying a couple things. Doesn't have a whole lot of room, you know. That hallway is only, you know, four feet wide, so it's got virtually no room to work with uh, in terms of the sensor. It's not not giving it a whole lot of play, so uh, it's kind of making a move for it. And of course, there's no sensors in the rear, so it's going to back into that wall every single time. Let's uh, let's give it some help real quick. Get this fellow turned around. So we'll point him on track over here, see if he can't bail himself out. Really wants to go down this side, huh? get it. Might get it. <laughs> As you can see, it's pretty much making the same moves over and over, right? It's not really um, recollecting, recalling the moves that it just made. So it's pretty much, you know, once it, once it gets itself in trouble, it's pretty much going to stay in trouble um, right now. So let's stick with a straightaway. It's not I'll try and conquer anything too difficult right now. Get some nice fishtail action going, weaving around. Um, the turning is not proportional to the distance just yet. That's something I'll be implementing. So right now it just has a hard-coded value. Hard-coded value that it's using to uh, flip around. Hard-coded value it's using to turn the wheel each time. So it's, uh, you know, it's basically just making a guess at how much it should be turning. Uh, but again, 
we'll, uh, we'll change that with a simple calculation, make it turn relative to how much distance it has remaining. And there you have it.